Hey guys, Matty Extreme Auto Caravan and Camping with you again today on a lovely Jayco. Look at that. So we must be getting a bit of solar. Ibis 4 running from the Powerpool Scout right there. Got an Orion DC to DC charger in this one, 30 amp. Got the MPPT 3100 for the solar around the roof. We've got about 600 watts on the roof of this Jayco. So we've rewired this, tidied up. As you know, Jayco's are a bit of a mess, so we've tidied it up. We've got the Enerdrive 2000 watt inverter. That's right, people, we have a 2000 watt inverter. Runs the Ibis 4 air conditioner without a problem. That's how you do it. Now, this is a single lithium battery. Check it out. 280 amp hour Scout. This is a custom made Australian lithium battery here. I'm absolutely loving these. These have a continuous discharge of 250 amps. So that means this can run a 3000 watt inverter from a single unit. I don't have to put double batteries in to run things anymore. Um, really, really good. Really, really good. Now we're putting doubles and triples and even four of these things um, in setups now. So there it is, guys. Now using the factory J35 as a mains charger, which will get reprogrammed um, for obviously when he's on mains. So yeah, DC to DC charge for vehicle. Solar's there, 600 watts on the roof. Now, because this is running on all the factory outlets, that's your microwave, like see your AC, um, anything you plug into a factory outlet's running, including the one outside. But more importantly is when it's done right. So the mains charger, the three-way fridge, are before the inverter. So what that means is when power is removed from the side of the van, the three-way fridge will go over to gas. That's what's supposed to happen. So when you're free camping and you turn the inverter on, the fridge's circuit, because it is a three-way fridge here that will suck you know, a couple of, hundred, um, couple of hundred watts, will not run from the inverter. So having a three-way fridge run from the inverter and obviously the battery charger you don't do. So they are, they are two circuits in this Jaker that have been put before the inverter. This has an instantaneous hot water service on it, the Great Suburban. So that didn't need to be done because that's all gas. But if you had a Truma boiler, you know, the old Suburban, um, something like that, that would be before the inverter. And there we go. And check it out, guys. Oh, mate's got a little thing that he's built for here. Running the AC off the grid. What are we pulling? Look at that. We must be receiving a bit of solar. So how good's that? Two in the Arvo. Oops, I just touched that. So two in the Arvo. And... We are only using 20 amps from the battery running the air conditioner with a 600 watt setup on the roof. Now, what have we got? We've got a power select. And it's just humming along. This is why I love, that's yeah, cold air coming out, it's crazy. This is why I love the inverter style ACs. They will hover down to a low, I mean, look, that's only pulling 380 watts, guys. So that's the Ibis 4. So the Harrier Light, the Harrier Plus, the Ibis 4, Truma, you know, these are efficient air conditioners. The Gree, eh, in the middle of the range for me now. I've done a few of them now, so they do draw more than these, but they are completely fine to run off the grid as well. Just with a little bit more power. But there we go, running the air conditioner off the grid again. Getting more and more, more and more popular. All right, so the next one will be... That's a 2001 Ender Drive, guys. 1.5 kilowatts, there we go. Or 115 odd amps. All from the Powerpool Scout battery down there, a single battery. Perfect. 